these games look really good. They look really good. And actually, they Excuse me, please. I was talking. My prayer is that the Lord would help me to be content wherever I am, whether I am. The game definitely crashed. <laughs> I just need a code out a window. That's all I need. All right. And I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe I'm just getting older. Maybe I'm just getting dumber. I think both can be true. I think both are true. I'm the smartest man I know. Hey, how's it going? My name is Bleat, and tonight we're playing In My Head. Hope you guys enjoy. Just so you guys know, this game is by the developer Just Tom CUK, I believe is his name, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this guy made the games that I've played before, Abandoned Souls and Cursed Tape, uh, both of which are walking simulator slash horror, horror games. I actually really enjoyed both, so. I'm excited to bring this one to you guys tonight. Hope you guys are doing excellent, by the way. Whoever has decided to join me in this little adventure we're going on tonight. Something I really love about this developer and the games that he makes are the uh, the visuals, the, the way the games, these games look. The way these games look, uh, they, they just look really good. Oh, here we go. What is this? Did she just say, Mommy, I'm scared? Because I am too. It makes two of us. I'm a little scared too. It's all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, the, uh, These games look really good. They look really good. And actually, they Excuse me, please, I was talking. These games actually run pretty well, too. They're fairly well optimized. Oh, wow. So I just have to collect all these things, I guess? Or maybe go to all these places? Okay, let's go grab the food and the, the food bowl for the cat. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. The backpack is one. Okay, wait, here's some keys. I know we need those, right? Need the keys. Oh wait, here's a light switch. Hang on. Now we're doing something. There we go. So cat food and treats. Here's the treats. We need. Oh hey kitty. Where'd you come from? Wait, I need to maybe just feed the cat. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Let's stoop down here real quick. Get closer to the bowl. Let's fill this bowl up. There you go, buddy. All right, you are happy, and I am happy, and we're all happy. Everybody's happy. Let's go back this way, I guess, and consult our list. Kitty, you okay? You don't sound okay. So nothing is really checking off the list other than, I don't know what that green check mark is for. Oh, all right, man, I'm coming. Can't concentrate with this cat meowing its head off. Yep. Let's go this way, huh? Seems like it's the way the game wants us to go. Let's go out here. Was it just a statue that fell over? Is that it? Okay, nothing too wild. By the way, if I seem tired, guys, it's because I am. I just got off work, 12 hour shift. So I am a little more tired than normal, but that's just the life of a nurse, you know? It is what it is. Got to pull the 12 hour shifts in the old hospital, the old hospital. That's okay. Thankful for the job God gave me. It ain't always easy, not always enjoyable, but you know, is what it is. I tell you what I really look forward to doing. Well, first of all, coming home and, and you know, being with my family. I love that. Seeing my wife and little boy. But also, I love sitting down and recording for you guys. I really enjoy making content for you guys. It's really like my passion. If I could do this full time, oh boy, I would totally do it full time. I would love to do that. I doubt it's ever going to happen. I highly doubt that. Uh, and if it doesn't, you know, that's okay. I am just trying to be focused on, I'm trying to focus on just being content, you know? My prayer, my prayer is that the Lord would help me to be content wherever I am, whether I am. The game definitely crashed. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, the game did not crash. I got back to where I was and I, I looked at the bed and I looked up and it says exit. <laughs> so it didn't crash. I just quit the game by accident. It's kind of an odd place to put the exit, you know? Maybe that's if you get too scared and you just gotta quit. You know, you just run to the bedroom, hide under the covers. What I was saying was, is, um, is I, I'm just trying to, my prayer recently for, for, you know, fairly recently has been that God would just help me to be content, you know, wherever I am in life. Um, I just want to be content because at the end of the day, even if like this whole YouTube thing uh, doesn't work out for me uh, and, you know, I'm a nurse forever or whatever, you know, wherever God puts me, I just want to be content because ultimately I know, I believe that if I have Christ, I have everything. That's just what I was trying to say. But back to the game. Uh, I've done the food, I've done the bowls, the cat, the bag, the camcorder, the keys. I need the map and I guess I got the front door. Oh. Oh, the bed says exit. That's funny. I didn't even catch that. All right, map, which is right here. Let's just get on with it. I feel like I've, I just, I waste so much time in these games. Um, I'm the kind of gamer, ooh, I would love to take that. That would be very nice if I could take that with me. Man, that would be great, but I can't. So we'll just work with what we got. Can I take the cat? That'd be even cooler than the gun. I'd love to take the cat with me. Have a little buddy beside me. All right, let's go. Let's go to the car and let's go. But yeah, I, I think uh, basically with these games, I th well with any game, I'm more of a, like I like to complete everything. I like to see everything, you know? And so with these games, it's like, I, I know the path to go usually, but it's like, I just want to see everything, you know? I want to see every nook and cranny. All right, let's go to the car. Okay, all right, all right, all right, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Locked, so we need to find a key. Man, this game looks crazy good. Yeah, as I was saying before, uh, this guy, his other games I've played, I know he's made more than just the two I've played, um, Abandoned Souls and um, The Cursed Tape, but both those games look great, and this one looks really good too. I'm very impressed. F for flashlight, F for friends who do stuff together. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, um, I don't know how it looks. I don't know how it's gonna look, um, you know, after it's all said and done, but I don't think, you know, with my computer running the video game and with it running the recording software and my camera and my mic and everything, um, I, uh, I think, ooh, okay, all right, let's get inside. Uh, I don't know how bad the frames are gonna be. I hope they're not gonna be too bad. Um, but here we go. When I get inside, it, it normally gets better. So uh, anyway, I just, I guess all that to say, I'm just trying to say, I hope it doesn't look bad for you guys. That's my biggest thing is I hope it doesn't look bad. Gosh, I'm telling you guys, this game looks so good. It's crazy. It's like, I think it, this one might look better than his other games. Honestly. Oh, this, I know this layout. I'm counting to six. I think is the game I played that had the same layout. It's like they all kind of share the same like assets and stuff. Okay, so window, door, bed, lying in bed, and then open, I need a ladder. Oh, 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 okay, it's the numbers. Yeah, it's the number. So there's gonna be a number by the window, a number by the door, and then a number when I get in the bed. <coughs> I need a number somewhere, right? Do I need to go back outside? Wait, here's a ladder, I need that. I just skip this whole number business and take that ladder. <coughs> What am I looking for? It's a number next to the window, right? Can I get in here? No. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hello? Hello? Ooh. Let's shut this door. 
All right, what do I need? I need a window, right? I need a window with a number on it. Oh my goodness gracious. I did not see you, sir. I'm so sorry that I barged in. I am so sorry. Man, where is a number at, Miss John? Anything over here at this window? I'm not seeing nothing over this window. Let's go back and check the other window. Actually, let's open up this door. What do you know? This door is open now. Man, that is superfluous. I just need a code out a window. That's all I need! All right. I'm just gonna take this ladder real quick. Let's close that door. Let's close this door. Because we don't want any spooky man coming up behind us and grabbing us by our ankles. Grabbing us by our cankles. Here we go. Here it is. Wait, what am I doing? Am I climbing? Oh, wait. Am I supposed to actually? No, wait. Hang on. There it is. Okay. Wait. I'll find it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm, this is... We're still... We're doing okay. It normally takes me a good while to, to figure out these games because I honestly have a pretty low intellect. Honestly, I'm disappointing myself about it with how bad I am at this game already. And this is a walking simulator. And I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe I'm just getting older. Maybe I'm just getting dumber. I think both can be true. I think both are true. Mm, all right, let's close that back. Don't want to give the enemy any opportunity to strike. Creeping behind me. Grab me by my love handles. Oh, it's how many windows are in this place. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, cool. And then the body, the body on the bed. Oh my goodness gracious. That was, okay, that's a good, that's a good puzzle. So one, two, three, four five right yeah four five um one two three four five and then six seven eight yeah there's eight windows there are four doors there's one guy lying on the bed I'm the smartest man I know. All right, we have progressed and it's only taken us 35 minutes. Let's just walk around some more, I'm sure. Oh, here we go, control. All right, well, we knew that from the get-go, but I'm happy that we get to now put our skills to use, our skill of crouching. I think we need, oh wait, no, we don't need. Wait, what do we need? We need the skull, right? Wasn't that the key? The key is this guy. Wait, there we go. Yeah, I need the key for the gate. The, f the front gate where my car was, right? That was the goal. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye, it was fun. All right, let's open you up. And let's go inside and let's see what is on the other side of this gate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hello, sir. Oh, my, oh wait, I need to go this way. Right? Yep, here we go. This is it. This is where we're supposed to be going. Yeah, so far, really no no big jump scares. So far. Um, other than the bird that flew in the window, that one was the biggest one thus far. And that was pretty good. I will say, whenever you play these horror games, these types of games, you kind of start seeing the same jump scares over and over. Um, but, uh, but I, you know, I always appreciate it whenever they mix it up and they throw in another one, a new one, a new jump scare. It's kind of nice when you mix it up. Oh, buddy. Man, where would the horror game community be without crowbars? If the crowbar was never invented, would there ever be any horror games? Has anyone ever asked that question? Probably not. It's a reasonable question. We should ask that. If the crowbar, right, I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's open this door. Coming in. Let's open the door. Hello. Anybody home? Hey, I know you. I think you're the one who scared me earlier. I'm feeling a jump scare coming up, and I don't know if I'm quite prepared for it. My stomach feels a little bit uneasy. I might deuce myself. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't get that scared. I've gotten scared before, but I've never been to that point, or even close to that point. Honestly, I don't even really get that scared. I'm a pretty tough guy. I'm a pretty not scared kind of guy. I'm a pretty brave and courageous guy. I mean, I've said that before. I've proven it time and time again when I play these games. I don't get phased. I'm pretty resilient. Yeah, all that was a lie, by the way. What does two mean? Oh, boards. Hey. 
Oh, thank you so much. I was looking for these. I need these boards. Thank you. I, wow. Okay, wow. I don't know if these guys are supposed to be scary, but honestly, they're super helpful. So I think that we're all, I think we're friends. I think we're all friends here. Nothing scary here. We're all just hanging out, just as friends. All right, let's go across this rickety old plank bridge. Yes. Hello. These guys are looking a little more unsettling, but still, I think we're still friends. We're still good. Yeah, we're still chilling. Guys, hope y'all are still chilling. I hope everybody in this video, whoever's watching this video, hope you guys are doing so great. I really do. I know that life can be tough and everybody has like their own path and their own journey and everybody's just trying to make it, you know? Everybody's just trying to make it at the end of the day. Excuse me, sorry. I had pizza for dinner. Cauliflower pizza, healthy alternative to a uh, normal pizza but just with way less pleasure. No, it was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, what am I even talking about? Why am I talking about pizza? Uh, hope you guys are doing great. I know that everybody has stuff they're going through and we're all trying to make it is what I was saying. Life can be tough for sure. Life can be tough and we can all be in certain situations that we don't necessarily want to be in. Um, but hope you guys know that no matter what you're going through or uh, you know what you're experiencing or what you're it is so hard to say something meaningful when all these ambient noises are going on but it's kind of crazy too because you guys aren't here for, to hear me talk you're here to watch the game man I'm so torn I know what kind of YouTube channel this is I'm playing these scary games I'm talking about the Lord what am I doing I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing so you can deal with it. Nah, but for real, I hope you guys uh, are doing well. I just hope you guys know that no matter where you are, what you're going through, um, you know, no matter how dark you think it is for you, life is always worth living, for one. That's just, that's just the way it is. Like, life is always worth living, for sure. And two, God is real, God is good, and there is so much hope to be found in God. And he's got so much grace to give. That's what's crazy, is people hate on him, but he is so loving, and he's so gracious, and he's so merciful. And I'm just telling you, there's a lot of hope in him. More hope than you'll ever find anywhere else. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. But anyway, I'm just kinda, whoa, whoa, now? What in the world is going on here? Oh dang, that's a snake. All right, I guess we go back this way, right? Don't know how to process that. Oh gosh, okay. Well, at least it wasn't a kid. I thought it was a little kid and that kind of hurt my heart. I gotta say, as I've said before, man, whenever you have little kids in these games, being a dad myself, a relatively new dad, it hits different, I'm telling you. Hits me different. Am I supposed to crouch here? Wait, maybe I'm supposed to crouch. Oh, I'm supposed to crouch, man. And here I was talking not more than 10 minutes ago about how I'm excited that we get to practice our skills. Wait, this feels not right. Wait, I feel like I'm actually not supposed to be out here. Wait, I think I broke the game. Oh, here we go. Handle, right? Hammer? <gasps> Hammer. Maybe I'm supposed to go back out the way I came. I'm not scared. And you know the reason why I'm not scared? And I'm not putting on a front. The reason I'm not scared is because, um, is because um, these games, I know now, you know, with this being my third game I've played, with this being the third game I've played of this guy's, you know, this guy's games, um, he does excellent at sound design. I think he does really good at sound design, but that's all it is, you know? That's, all, that's really all it is at the end of the day. It's just sound. And so I'm not too scared. You know, nothing is, in the games I've played, nothing has tried to chase me. You know, nothing has tried to kill me, so I feel pretty confident when these sounds are sounding that I'm still pretty safe, you know? That's how I feel about it.
right. Let's keep on with it. I feel like at some point in this game, the jump scare where something runs through the hall or through the doorway straight towards you, that's gonna happen. I have a feeling. I feel like that's kind of like a staple jump scare in, in this guy's games. <laughs> so it wasn't running at me, but close enough, right? I'm relaxed right now. You know, if you even if it doesn't seem like it, I am. I feel very relaxed right now. I don't feel on edge. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel anxious, scared, you name it. You know, all of the above. I don't feel any of it. I feel very confident, courageous. I feel bold, you know. I feel I feel like you could throw almost anything my way and I would handle it. Pretty music. I'm not gonna lie, that music is kind of scary a little bit, you know, it's kind of haunting, but it kind of sounds pretty. Like, I could sleep to that. I think I could sleep to that music. Oh wait, no, this is a new area. Oh my goodness. I just wandered around for like five minutes. Let's blow this one out. And... Let's blow this one out. Hello. Don't mind me. Just got some candles to blow out. Just got some candles to blow out. Don't mind me, guys. Just your friendly neighborhood bleat. Strolling through, taking a stroll through your place of business to blow out your candles. That's all I'm here to do. That's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna leave. And we can all just have a, a good night. Go home safely to our families. Have a great night. All of us still alive. None of us dead. Wait, what is this? Oh, I need items here. Okay, so I need a skull, a rib cage, and a foot. All right, cool. Can I take your foot? Nope, can I take your head or your rib cage? I'll take either one. All right, can't take any of your parts. No worries, we will continue on. Oh, here's the stuff I need. I need this head and this rib cage. Oh wait, I can't grab that. That's not even a rib cage, that's intestines. Okay, let's put this here. Perfect. And then, wait, is, do I need intestines? No, that's a ribcage. I need a ribcage. Hey, man. Oh, you are one ugly, ugly little thing. What's with all these baby dolls everywhere? It's crazy. You know what's also kind of crazy? I will say something. There, okay, I do have one knock to this game. The And I think I remember reading this in a um, in a review. The uh, the blur effect is a little is a little much. It's, um <laughs> like, I get it. It kind of adds to the realism of it. But it is a little excessive. Oh, here's a rib cage. Yep. Thank you. What you hear? Wait, is this a foot I need? No, it's a foot, but not the right foot. Literally, not the right foot. I need the right foot, don't I? No, I need the left foot. Okie dokie. I need a left foot. Um, man, you got a nice left foot on you. Wish I could take it. Sure wish I could hold that for a minute. All right, daddy needs a foot. Daddy needs a foot. Where my daddy find a foot? Oh, here's a foot. There was a foot there the whole time. Okay. Hello, coming in. Alrighty. Man, you have a beautiful voice, sir. That's gorgeous. Oh, this is the thing on the board that I needed. Right? <gasps> Treasure. Golden monkey. Do I go back out the way I came? I think I do. Oh wait, this way? Let's go this way. This way's open now. Man, I think I just missed... 
I think I just missed the jump scare. That actually kind of makes me sad. I wish I would have seen that one. Too busy looking around. Yeah, the sound design in these games, in the, the games that this guy makes, is pretty good. The sound design is definitely pretty good. Okie dokie. I'm on my way home with my treasure. champion. Man, we are such professional gamers. The level of professionalism shocks me. Was the dad drinking and abusive and then he left and then the mom found a new man roy and my dad got into an argument or wait am i roy or am i the dad wait i'm me wait who is me i'm the little kid oh that's me i'm the little kid roy and my dad got into a fight my dad killed roy and my mom oh my gosh pointing at them and then are these pointing at me oh my gosh wait i'm back here i think i'm putting it all together so i'm the little girl or maybe i'm not the little girl but my little girl drew those drawings and the mom and dad separated and he came back and killed the boyfriend and the mom oh my gosh Whenever they incorporate kids, my heart, I'm telling you guys, I'm not, just, I'm not just saying this to say it, like, and for those of you who, who are watching who might have kids, um, maybe you guys can resonate with me. I, it like, it hurts my heart, like, thinking about these sweet little babies who grow up in broken homes and stuff. <laughs> saying papa wake up wait did roy kill my dad and mom or did my dad kill roy and mom i don't know i'm, not, I'm unclear about that but regardless the little baby thinking about little babies bro uh, growing up in broken homes it just oh my gosh my heart can't handle that all right this is clearly heaven or hell uh but wait this is the end created by just tom c-u-k let's go heaven let's always go heaven right let's go to heaven Oh my gosh. Were those the parents? Guys, I can't handle this. That was In My Head by Just Tom C.U.K. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. I hope to see you all in the next video. And until then, God bless and take care.